Ask any baker or breakfast connoisseur, and they'll tell you, eggs are expensive. Yeah, so we asked our inflation buster, Matt Gephardt, to investigate. Is there a way to save on eggs, Matt? Mike Dini, yeah, between inflation and that nasty bird flu, egg prices have been hit especially hard. So rather than pay for the high prices at the store, could you save money and get your own eggs from your own backyard? Let's see. Let's see what we got. For Christina Enns and her family, breakfast begins in the backyard. <laughs> that is where you will find her flock of about 30 chickens and sometimes her niece, Monroe, helping to gather eggs. Oh, there you go. Christina has raised chickens pretty much her entire life. I take care of them like I would any other animal. Yeah, these are my pets and they give me food. <laughs> like any pet, they can be full of personality. Actually, his name's Fabio because he's kind of high maintenance. <laughs> they can also be, shall we say, sassy, like this one who'd had just about enough of that city slicker trying to shoot a promo. Easy, easy, whoops. <laughs> That's it, that's the last one. But as egg suppliers, Christina says backyard chickens cannot be beat. I can't eat restaurant or store-bought eggs. They taste so different to me, and I find the textures way different as well. Store-bought eggs have also nice. gotten pricey. In January of last year, the average cost for one dozen eggs was a buck ninety-three. A year later, it has soared to $4.82. That's two and a half times more. With that surge, backyard chickens have become a big thing. Christina actually helps manage a Facebook group for enthusiasts. Just in the last two weeks alone, I've added hundreds of members. But will keeping chickens save you money on eggs? The answer is not exactly hard-boiled. You kind of save money. The average chick sells for three to five bucks. They're going to need some space to roam and they'll need some coops. You can buy one for as little as 160 bucks or you can pay thousands for an elaborate one. It doesn't even need to be that big. I mean, for two or three hens, you just need a pen maybe by four feet by two feet is all and just a place where they can sleep at night. You'll also need a feeder and a water container, which run about five to ten dollars a piece. A bale of straw for the coop's floor will cost you seven bucks. And the feed, a 50-pound bag costs 20, 25 bucks. If you have two or three hens, that 50-pound bag's gonna last you a month. <laughs> Most hens can lay one egg per day, but that's affected by factors like nutrition, health, weather, and predators. I do log mine up every night because I do actually have coyotes out here and raccoons and skunks. If everything goes well, you can expect a hen in its prime to lay up to 250 eggs a year with three hens that will fill nearly 63 one dozen cartons. My operation's a little bit bigger, so I kind of break even. But if you're doing a small scale, like one or two hens in your backyard, then yeah, go for it, because then you're getting eggs every day. I want to get one of them. All right, if the costs and your time are not worth it for you to get your own chickens, there are other ways to get eggs without having to scramble for extra cash. Farms and farmer's markets tend to have lower prices. So do warehouse clubs, though you're probably going to have to buy dozens each time. You could split those eggs with your friends and family, or the USDA says you can actually freeze your eggs as long as they're out of their shells. Let me try to crack that a little bit better. For Christina, this is about more than just saving money, though. Come on, please, let's go! She knows exactly how her chickens are treated and how they are fed. Mine forage for bugs, they um, get a healthy feed, they get grains, they get our kitchen scraps, they get a nice like variety of diet. And she says her chicken's eggs taste fresher and last longer. The eggs you get from the grocery store, actually, uh, by the time you get them, they're already about a month old. <laughs> and if nothing else, chickens, well, they're pretty darn entertaining. <laughs> Believe it or not, they're yard art because you get the colorful, pretty birds walking around your yard. And you know, backyard chicken coops have become so popular, it now has the attention of state lawmakers. Here in Utah, there's a bill being run right now that would exempt backyard egg producers from some of the health department regulations. More people want these things in their backyards.